Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is my long-awaited Milan haul, and I'm excited to be doing this. Um, I really didn't get that much, actually. I got quite a few things, but they're all, like, either really small, or I got actually a lot of underwear and a lot of clothes. No, like, super big items. Um, I have this huge bag full of Italian candy, which, by the way, is amazing. Uh, just a few little things uh, and some stories behind each item. So I'm going to get excited and we're going to get into this. So I'm going to go one by one on the order I got them just so that that's like the easiest way I could do it. Um, you know, just to keep track of everything. So the day I got to Milan, I went to Renaissance, which is the huge department store. Um, it's one of the largest ones in the world, and it was really cool. So I picked up, and it's a big bag, but I only picked up a few things. I picked up a La Perla um, shirt that is, because I wear black t-shirts like almost every day, so I picked up a La Perla shirt. It was um, 197 euro or something like that. That's what the tag says, I think. Don't really know how to explain that. But it is, what material is this? I don't know, it's some special material. I got this one specifically um, and not the other one, I'm pretty sure. Unless I got the wrong one, I don't know. One of them is supposed to be um, like softer than the other one, more sheer but I'm pretty sure he might have given me the wrong one. But that is okay. Um, either way, I liked them both. Um, but yeah. And then I also got this, which was 120 euro. Um, and then he packaged everything else in here. So it's a few things in this box. But uh, just like La Perla boxers. Um, and then boxer briefs, just because I figured I wanted to get that. The boxer briefs were only like 70 euro. Um, but that's these. And just say La Perla and stuff. And then, of course, like, boxers, real fun. Um, that's all I got from the department store. So we'll put that back in here. I pretty much have to do all this while I'm in the hotel rooms because I have to package them up and I'm not bringing any of the bags or boxes with me back. I'm gonna bring you one box with me back and that is the uh, white Chanel one. I already have a ton of boxes. I really don't need any more boxes. It's like unnecessary. So yeah, I'm not doing that. Next, I went, I believe, to Balenciaga, the um, flagship in Milan. And I picked up these few items. Um, these were two like 27 euro or something like that. I don't know. But yes, I picked up just the um, Balenciaga boxer briefs, which are right now online only and in Europe only. Other than that, pretty basic. I just, I have a weird underwear obsession. And so got to get all those whenever I have the opportunity. And after that, I think is when I got the Dolce & Gabbana. This is a fun story. So I went into the Dolce & Gabbana flagship store um, and I saw this. Well, I did I got, okay, so they like, the flagship store gets most of the next collection before the rest of the world. And they also have the runway pieces. This, I believe, was a runway piece and the next collection, if I remember correctly. It's really simple, but it's really like my aesthetic perfectly. It, it matches my aesthetic perfectly. I really love it. Um, really simple, but um, yeah, so I asked, when, the, when my sales associate mentioned that they had the runway and next collection, but only a few items, and it was invite only, I asked if I could, um, see them and she was just like yeah whatever sure we're pretty laid back about that stuff um if you shop with us it really doesn't matter uh like literally you could buy a sock i don't care she was literally laid back about it so yeah so i've got i forgot to ask for a hanger for this i usually always ask for hangers 
for every item I get and I forgot to ask and it's kind of upsetting because I don't think they'll give me one back in New York. They're usually really, New York is really weird about that kind of stuff. I really, I don't know why they shouldn't be, but um, yeah. So it's just really simple They wrap it up like so. And it's literally just a white t-shirt that says Dolce & Gabbana. That is it. I really like it though. It matches my aesthetic. It was um, 225 euro or something like that. I don't remember. Um, but it really matches my aesthetic. I really like the way it looks and it really fits me well. Um, so yeah, I like that. And then after that was the candy store. I am obsessed with candy. I have a really bad problem with candy. So I decided to go drop like 30 or 40 euro in a candy store and try a bunch of, um, you know, Italian candy. And so I saw these, now I've already eaten like half of them and they're just like sugar straws um, with like cream in the middle. But like I've had them at fair and like a fair and carnival uh, in St. Petersburg uh, back at home in Florida back when I lived there in Tampa at the Florida Festival and they were like this big though. Um, they were amazing and I was like, oh my God, I really hope they're the same thing. And I got them and I tried them and I love them. I got three of each flavor. There were like 30 flavors. Um, they're amazing. I only have a few left. My other, I've actually only eaten two things out of here so far. Um, the other one is this fruit bubble gum, and it's cool because it actually looks like the fruit. The only one left is one orange, one lemon, and one watermelon. The watermelon is my favorite, so I have been trying to save them because I really love them. Um, the orange, the there was orange, grape, and cherry, and lemon, and they all look like that also, but they are amazing. It's like the best gum I've ever had, and I really wish I had the opportunity to go get more, but I have to leave in two hours to go to Paris, and I leave Paris um, literally the next day to go back to New York, and then I have to go back to Florida for like an, a day, and then I have to go back to New York, so it's a lot of fun, a lot of stress, but you guys will have seen this way after all this, so, you know, a lot of fun. Um, I got these, uh, CU, uh, Gomos Morbid. I had no idea what these were. There were a, like, a, a track full of these, um, full of, like, different gummies made by this company, and I don't speak Italian that well, so I have no idea what they say. So I just picked one up that looked, like, somewhat good, um, I'll give it a try. It's gluten free. I not that I care about that. I I don't usually care. Um, the all of it's in Italian, so I have no idea what it is. But I can't wait to try it. And then I got these things called fruit joys, and this is in Italian too, so I have no idea what they are. But every single convenience store, um, anywhere that sells candy, anywhere that sells like drinks, cigarettes. Um, things like that, uh, like pharmacies, has these, and I've never seen them before, and I think they're just like lifesavers. Um, I'm not really 100% sure though, because it's all in Italian, but I can't wait to give that a try too. And there's only a few more things in here, and they are all like lollipop related, it's just because I, I think they'll be fun. So I got this really big lollipop, and these uh, two ones, just because they are Italian, and thought they'd be fun. The store was mainly chocolate, not that matters to me, but the, yeah, the store was just mainly chocolate, so like it's not like there was much of an option for me because I don't like chocolate, so you know. And then after that, I went to Intissimi uh, Yumo, which is uh, men, and I got this is like um like a La Perla or like a Calvin Klein for Italy. Um, so I got a cashmere white tee or black t-shirt. It's in cashmere, so it's like really soft. It's like thick and it's gonna be perfect for New York in the winter and I'm very excited. Um, it is heat impressed, so like it keeps heat in and I'm really excited for this because I wear black t-shirts all the time. So a cashmere black t-shirt is gonna be perfect. Now, my favorite thing from this trip is going to be this beautiful box 
from Gucci, which I'm gonna do a thumbnail real quick. I might not even use that thumbnail, but yes, so this is the best part. I tried on quite a few things from Gucci and I really liked the bomber jacket that you guys would have seen in the haul. Um, but I didn't get that because this one had a special story to it. So I never seen this anywhere else. And so I asked to try it on. Um, uh, they didn't have my size because I'm an extra small in Gucci. Uh, so I had to get a small because there are only uh, six of these ever manufactured. So two of which are a small, two of which, um, there were two in a small, two in a medium, one in large, one in extra large, I think. Um, I made improvement in the system just because I've had people bullshit me before and lie about that kind of thing and I'm just, I'm not gonna have that happen again. So I made improvement to me and there actually is only six manufactured and there was only ever made for the Milan store. So no one else will have one unless they've been to Milan or had a personal shopper in Milan or um, it was resold or something. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my story behind this is that I have like a one-off item from the Gucci in Milan and I'm really excited that I can only get it here. So come out in this beautiful I love their dust bags and their um, bags because they are silk and their hangers are suede. But you guys would have seen me try this on in my uh, vlog video and it's just a hoodie with a giant snake on it and like a graffiti and on the back it says Gucci um, animal alum and anim animalium, animalium. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much my favorite thing I got from Milan because it, how special it is and how, um, not that many people can get it. So I'm very excited about this one object. And I did remember actually that time to ask for a hanger. I really wish I remembered or that I remembered whenever, um, I, rem I remembered on my way back from Venice and everything was already closed and I have to go back to Paris and I'm not really sure if the Paris store would give me one. So I have to figure all that out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, and last but not least, I've got these two things I got in um, Venice. And if we go in order, I will have all my swatches, which is a sneak peek for the next one. Um, but I was invited to get this beautiful product um, and Little bit of backstory on this. My belt right now, now I have a few Hermes belts and I only wear them when I go out places like really nice, but my belt right now, um, for anyone that knows, is the same belt I had all throughout high school. And I've had it for six or seven years now. I got it like my freshman year of high school and you know, it's old, it's peeling, it's cracking. I got it at JCPenney's and it's fake leather. And I don't wear my Hermes belts every day, and this is the only belts I have. So I picked this up as my new everyday belt because they are practically indestructible and they um, are extremely difficult to make because what it's made out of is extremely difficult to cut. This is the only one in the entire world because it was made for me um, in a little like boutique in Venice but it was made in Florence so I picked that up today and it is a beautiful one-off stingray belt and it's a brown and white stingray and it is gorgeous I'm excited to have this because it's insane there's only one and you will never find it ever and a stingray belt and stingray products in general are really difficult to make so you won't find them often, and that is what I really love about that. And last but not least is, of course, while I was here, I had to pick up Kiko Milano because, you know, whenever you're in Milan, get makeup that's basically only in Milan. So I picked up, um, I was kind of rushed because I got it in a train station, but I picked up a few lippies um let's see which ones i got i don't even remember honestly i know that sounds horrible but i don't so this one is uh arctic holiday metal in three i guess they don't name it in colors but yeah 
Um, it's a beautiful red uh, metal. It's It looks literally just like the one that Jeffree Star just released. Um, and I like the metal or the, the magnet. But yeah, it looks just like that. Very interesting how um, similar they look. I also got uh, Velvet Passion 311, which is just a red. Just a regular red. I like the metal. The um, magnet. And then I got... This one is um, the Arctic Holiday Metal in the shade 2. And this is a beautiful champagne gold and now the opacity of the opacity in this is like insane very very insane these were each they were also really cheap they were like one of them was six dollars six euro which is like eight or nine us dollars that was this one and all the metal ones for holiday were 10 euro which is like 12 us dollars so it was like extremely cheap for a lot of makeup so that's insane. I was really happy to get my hands on some of these. This one is the shade 4 in the Arctic Monkey, and it is a metallic purple. I only really liked the metallics because they were so opaque, and they were like, uh, the pigment was there. Very different um, than most. So this one is the shade one in Arctic Holiday. <clears throat> and it is a pure gold. So that's pretty much it. <coughs> Excuse me. So now it is like 3 or 4 a.m. And so I'm going to go because I now have to pack four boxes or four. Um, I have to pack four bags to go to Paris. So Wonderful. So I will see you guys in the next video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And I will see you guys um, in the next video whenever that is, whenever that may be. I don't even know what it is yet, but I will see you guys then. Probably going to do a Paris part two because I might go shopping tomorrow again. I have really no idea. I have no clue. Not really sure what's going on. I'm going to try to get a Birkin again. Um, we'll see how it goes. Though. So I will see you guys again soon. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys the next day, whenever it might be. Bye-bye.